Good morning, everyone. Myself, Mulli Reddy. In this video, we are going to discussing about what is the difference between build periodically, pole ACM and webhook. Let's see the demo one by one. Okay. First one, we are going to discussing about build periodically. For that one, I have created one project on job inside the Jenkins. The job name, job name is Maven project. And also I have taken this web application inside this particular job. I have defined that uh, clone the repository, the particular web application. And also I have defined the Maven to build that particular script. I'm giving here install. Okay. Now I'm saving this one. Currently, if you observe here, we haven't built anything. But first, we are going to discuss about build periodically. And there, what I said, build periodically, if you want to run specific time, you can use the build periodically. The build periodically, it is a cron tab. Okay, we have to define the cron tab. Where we need to define, here, if you observe here, inside that the build triggers, we have a build periodical, right? Here, if you are not aware how you can define, just uh, click that question mark, you can able to get information, okay? First one minute, hours, day of month, month, day of week. Currently, what I'm doing here, I'm giving the HY5. HY5 means every five minutes it should be run, okay? Remaining, I'm giving star, star, star. If you observe here, current time is 4.43. Next build, it will be run 4.48. What is that? What are the uses of build periodically? If you mention the specific time, cron tab, it will be run. For example, I have given X by 5 means every 5 minutes. Here star means always. If you give star means always. Okay. In case, if you want to run every 1, one over 5 minutes, you can give like this. Currently, for 158 AM. So if you observe here, 13 AM. It is taking, yeah, 29, 150. Two, it is taking one. Okay. In step one, you can give the star only. Fine. If you observe here, we have given the star. Okay. See, minutes, hours. Okay. Every one hour, five minutes, it should be run. If you give month, day of month, day of month, day of week. Okay. Currently, I want to run only every five minutes. What I'm doing here, I'm saving this apply. So, if, even if you are not uh, run the job, every five minutes, you should be run, right? Even whether changes will be there or not inside that. Uh, GitHub doesn't matter. Inside the, if you mention inside the build periodically, it will be run specific time. We have mentioned every five minutes, right? We can wait for five minutes. Let's see whether build will be run or not. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Job is running. See, November 29, 2022, 448. Earlier we have set up 443. Now 448, right? Every five minutes it should be run. Got it, right? What is the main intention of using build periodically? Again, I'm telling. If you want to run the particular job specific time, whether the changes will be there or not inside the uh, repository, it will be run automatically. We can use the build periodically. Okay. Next one, pole ACM. What are the uses of pole ACM? If you want to run specific job, specific time, if there is any changes inside Git repository, inside the Git repository, it will be run the particular job. Otherwise, it won't be run. What I'm doing here, I'm going to check it here. Uh, I'm uncheck this one, build periodically. See, pole is same. Pole is same, build periodically, both are same. Only small difference is, if you use the build periodically, if there is any changes in code, then the build will, if you use the uh, build periodically, whether the changes will be there or not inside the particular project, doesn't matter, it is automatically trigger the job. But when you use the pole ACM, if there is any changes in the particular repository, the particular uh, time period, then it should be run. In case, for example, I have set up every five minutes. Okay, if in this particular five minutes, there is no any changes. Okay, there is no any changes. What will happen? The job won't be run. If there is any changes, then job will be automatically triggered. Every five minutes, it will be verified. If there is any changes in this particular repository, it will be triggered. Currently, I'm not... Uh, I'm not uh, commit anything. Let's see. I'm going to save it. If you observe here, it is going to run 448. Okay. Next one is 453. Every five minutes, you should be run. Okay. Apply save. Okay. If you wait for five minutes, it will be verified. It will be checked the particular uh, condition. Is there any changes in uh, uh, made in the particular repository? It will be triggered. Otherwise, it won't be triggered. Okay. Got it right? Now, what I'm doing here, I'm going to change it here. I'm going to change the small Think, okay what i'm doing here again i'm going to open this uh, configure okay 
earlier it was time 453 right what i'm doing here i'm closing this again opening now if you see here 453 33 only okay fine now save it apply now what i'm doing here i'm going to do the modification okay even if you wait for uh, five minutes it won't be run because earlier we haven't changed anything right but what i'm doing here now i'm going to modify small thing okay i'm going to modify example i'm giving mam in web apps okay extra i have added a yes i'm going to commit it means every five minutes it will be verified that particular job we made some changes inside the repository right it means every five minutes uh, next to five minutes the job will be run trigger automatically okay we can wait for some time uh, until five minutes let's see okay got it right any question no right yeah if we observe here the job is running the reason is we made some changes right that's why every five minutes is going to run okay if you observe here the job is running got it right what is the major difference between uh, bill periodically and policy in bill periodically if you mention specific cron tab, specific time, whether the changes will be there or not, doesn't matter, the particular job will be run. In case if you mention inside the poll ACM, if there is any changes in that particular repository, inside this particular repository, then only the job will be triggered. In, in between five minutes, if the particular job is not run, I mean, if we not done any changes, the job won't be run. Again, next five minutes, it will be verified. Is there any changes done in this particular repository? We made some changes, right? It is automatically triggered the job as well. Okay, got it right? I hope understand right. Next one. What is web hook? Web hooks. See, for example, you have a repository. Okay, you have a repository. In this particular repository, if you made some changes, automatically, immediately, if you want to trigger the job, we can use the web hook concept. Okay, web hook concept will be used. So how we can do, let's see. What I'm doing here, I'm going to insert the configure. Okay. Uh, remove this uh, policy. See, if you want to set up that uh, web hook, you have to enable this one. Check mark this GitHub hook trigger for Git SCM policy. You have to select this one, then apply, save. Okay. Then go to the particular repository. I mean, web application. Okay. Go to the settings. In this settings, we have option web hooks. Okay. Click this web hooks. Here you can create add. Then you, ha you, you have to give here payroll URL. Pair uh, payload URL is nothing but your Jenkins URL. Currently, remember we have a currently we have public IP colon 8080. But in real time, we have a DNS name. Example, Jenkins, example, your company name is techworld with murli.com. The uh, URL should be jenkins.techworld with murli.com. Okay. Fine. Then you have to add it here. If you, if you are setting up in the webhook, you have to add here GitHub hyphen webhook. Okay. Then slash. Now here content type either application or JSON. You can select a JSON format and secret not required here. This is the very important. Just the push event means someone made changes in the particular repository. Then this particular job will be automatically triggered. Or if you want to send me everything, even they, someone is clone the repository, even someone create the branch, everything. If you want to uh, run this particular job, we, we can select this send me everything. Okay. Third one is in case if you want to select specific events, you can select this one. Okay. Remember, real time will be used only this one. Just push event. Okay. Because some someone modify inside the repository then this particular trigger will be the particular job will be triggered automatically okay and then you can select here active okay add web hook what i'm doing here if you observe here currently we have total two bills right what i'm doing here go to the web application and here i'm going to change small thing inside the palm right xml okay example what i'm doing here okay i'm giving here web application what just i'm adding something okay i'm uh, doing the commit Okay, if you do some commit inside the particular repository, the job will be automatically triggered. Let's let's see. Okay, commit changes. Okay, I have done the commits right. If you go and verify here, immediately job will be run. Immediately job will be run. The reason is we have done the webhook concept. Okay, we have done the webhook. Got it right? There are three types. One is build periodically. 
if you want to run specific time, whether the changes will be there or not inside the Jenkins, I mean the particular repository, if you want to run the job, we can use the build periodically. Whole SEM. If there is any changes in the particular repository, if you want to run the particular Jenkins job, we can use the whole SEM. Third one is build uh, webhook concept. What is the use of the webhook? If someone modify the changes, if someone did some changes, we can use uh, automatically trigger the job. If you set up the webhook. Remember, in interview level, very, very, very important question. How many ways to we can trigger? They will ask. Second thing is, what is the difference between build periodically, poll SM and webhook? Okay. And one more thing, remember, in real time, different use cases will be used. Some of the use cases I want to run every five minutes, the particular job will be used the build periodically. Okay. If there is any changes in the particular uh, time period, if you want to run the job, we can use poll SM. But if someone made some changes in the, inside the particular repository, if you want to run, run the job immediately, we can use the webhook. Okay. I hope understand right. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next video.